hi, this is Callie from Liberate Justice Entertainment here with... Outside, Outside the Living! What's up guys? How are you tonight? You just played a set at Gideon's Hall? Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, good. That was awesome, lit. Awesome. <laughs> that was hashtag, dude. <laughs> hashtag. All right. Don't say that again. Don't so, say that. <laughs> let me go around and ask you guys, what's your name, what do you play, and what are some of your influences? Uh, yeah, my name is Alvaro, and I play the lead guitar in oh, this fuck. band. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, my, my, my influences are like, you know, like, uh, August Burns Red and stuff. I love that band. My favorite band. It's pretty much, it's pretty much where, where I'm at. And Tool, obviously. I fucking, yeah, and yeah, Tool. Yeah, yeah, alright. Tool's cool, you know. <laughs> Tool's cool, you know. And you? I'm Reed. I play sort of, uh, sort of lead. More lead than him. He, he plays second, second guitar. So, um, <laughs> I'm Reed. I play guitar. And my influences are Opeth, Mastodon, uh, Swedish Metal. Yeah. That's nice. Fun. Right on. You? I, I'm Ray. I play drums. Uh, my influences would, my main influence would be Danny Carey from Tool. Um, I also really like Shannon Lucas and Alan Cassidy from Black Dog Murder, and I also really like Black uh, Bron Daler from Mastodon. I like to combine all those elements. Nice. And you? I'm Sean. Hey, Sean. Uh, <laughs> I scream scary shit into the microphone. Yeah. Um, uh, my main influences would have to be Phil Ra Bosman. Yeah, Phil, Phil Bosman, for sure, from Whitechapel, and uh, Randy Bly from Lamb of God, okay. uh, and Maynard from Tool, for sure. Nice. Yeah. And you, what are some of your influences? What do you play? What my name is name? Josh. I play bass. I got shades. Right? And my main influences are probably Corn, Lamb of God, <laughs> and probably like Misfits. Yeah. Nice. Sounds good. So where are you guys from? Huntington uh, Beach. From Huntington Beach. Huntington right Beach. on. Huntington yeah. Beach. There's yeah. a tea there. Orange Silent. County. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So you guys looking to play out here a little more, you were saying? And yeah. Kind of get around a little bit? Yeah, I want to grab a band. Sounds really somewhere. good. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Definitely looking to play more shows. Well, I really liked what I heard from you guys. It was good. I enjoyed your, I enjoyed your set. And I'm glad to get some of that footage out to the people. And uh, yeah, it grabbed me. It, it grabbed me to the point where like I came over to you guys, so that was good. Oh, yeah. I really Thank encourage you. people to check you guys out. So I hear you guys are coming out with an EP soon. Is that what's going on? Or? Yeah, we're actually going in to record tomorrow and through next week. So yeah, we're heading to San Diego tonight. <laughs> nice. So, so. Recording with Daniel Castleman. He's worked with like Winds of Plague and Nazale Dying. So. so you guys have some good stuff making its way out. People oh, just yeah, have yeah. to be patient. Yeah. <laughs> it, should, it should drop around mid to late April. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not too far. Yeah. So, yeah. you guys are on. You guys are doing good. <laughs> so, you guys want to? You guys are gonna go on the road soon. You're saying you're gonna go to Oklahoma. What's that about? Yeah, we we basically got hooked up to play. We got hooked up to play a, a slot at Rocklahoma. Cool. It's a smaller stage, but you know, exposure's exposure, and we're. we're Willing to make the trip. It's playing at 9 a.m. Yeah. What what kind of event is that? It's just a, a like a big festival. Yeah, it's or? a big rock festival, festival. Rocklahoma yeah. festival. Right on. Rocklahoma <laughs> festival. <laughs> Rocklahoma <laughs> festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there going to be any headliners there? Or is yeah, it just the, like a bunch of locals? The offspring. Is, oh, okay. Is headlining uh, Def Soundgarden. Def Leppard. Yeah, nice. Not, not too See. Much of our stuff. I know In Flames is playing. Um, I was going to say Burning Flame. I knew there was a reason why you guys were going to travel that far. I was yeah, wondering yeah. who you were playing with. So that's yeah. good. You guys are going to share their, at least, you know, be on the same property as yeah, the other. But next year, next year maybe. I mean, that's great. Yeah. Good to hear. Yeah. Working our way up. <laughs> so how could you guys describe your sound if you had a way to describe your that's music? Angry. Heavy. Angry, heavy, and... Metal up fast. I hear that. That doesn't sound too cool. We, we just uh, we all have, like, <laughs> like we it's all like cold. We yeah. all have our different influences, and we like to kind of just mash them together and see what happens. Yeah, it's yeah. basically what happens. That's why it takes us a long to it write songs. It takes a long time to write songs, but you guys have a lot of stuff. The last six months. Yeah. 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 That's good though, because then you guys can do a lot of different material, and you can play different shows, which you guys are already saying that you're doing now. You know, you kind of 
branch out to the demographic. I know you guys want to play like a bunch of metal shows out here and stuff, which yeah. you probably will. And hopefully, I can get you guys on my bill. Yeah, exactly. um, <laughs> but I mean, the fact that you guys, you know, told me that you play at other shows too, like punk rock shows and stuff like that, yeah. shows that your music can reach out to like the demographic which is yeah, we, super important when it comes down to the underground scene you we know used to, we used to play shows with like hardcore bands and stuff like Huntington we so there's a lot of an, hardcore bands we've so. played with an all girl Guns N' Roses cover band yeah, yeah. we played with wow. that band. That's <laughs> there you go <laughs> we're playing with more death metal deathcore bands so that's cool and yeah, yeah we, just wanna, is, we just want to yeah. as many people as possible yeah this is really the first time like we've really traveled to go play somewhere yeah. Well, I encourage it because that way you guys can find out more, you know, like you were saying, build a following and find out more about what's around here. Like, these promoters do a lot of really cool things for around the area. We got a lot of stuff going on in Pomona here in Upland. So I encourage you guys to check that out. Yeah, we, we wanted to branch out to the to the IE. Nice. Yeah, yeah we've, we've heard the scene and we want to step How in. How do you feel it, about so, that, Al? Yeah. <laughs> this guy needs to say something. How do you feel about that? We're branching out. How do you feel about that? I don't know. You guys... Are you guys we're putting you on the spot. Yeah. He agrees. He doesn't pay attention. Zoom in on his face. And see what it's he pretty, says. It's pretty warm right now. Yeah. Give it. I like. I appreciate how. He actually he just came out today. So. Yeah. We actually just found him. We call him Big, big Gay Al. Yeah. Or Alpaca. Alpaca. Found him. Alpaca. Yeah. Alpaca. See you guys. <laughs> so you guys obviously get along really well. How how'd your band form? How'd you guys all meet up with each other and everything? That's my story. Um, well, originally I came up with the name probably in fifth grade, and I kind of pitched it to him, and he thought it was a good idea. No, it but <laughs> Wrong. Me and him pretty much were jamming together from like all throughout middle school and early into high school without any luck finding anybody. We had a couple people that we said they wanted to do it but never ended up doing it. Nice. Uh, we actually ended up finding Sean here uh, because nice. Reed worked with him, and ironically, he was actually my football coach in high school. Yeah, we worked, what? At, we worked at Iowans. Yeah. So serving burgers. Yeah, they're serving burgers together. It's my, it's my he passion. taught me football stuff. Yeah, I That's what's up. Uh, there you go. And then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he told us he was in a metal, same kind of music we were into, and then. We heard him scream for the first time. And I yeah, was I was going to mention that. That was that's a good yeah. story. Yeah, we were. Uh, yeah, he was really nervous. Yeah, he's really nervous. First time I ever heard him scream. We were driving around in our our hometown and just playing like Parkway Drive probably, and yeah, had him screaming it. And he kept turning it up and he kept turning it down. Oh, to hear him. yeah. So he kept turning up the volume. Aww. Kept, yeah, nope. And then uh, so we started hanging out with him. We got along really well. We were, you know. Became really good friends. Uh, we found Al this on is, this Facebook. Is, this is interesting. Yeah. We found Al on Facebook, and he lived in LA, which this, is like this motherfucker drove out here from Miami to be a fucking rock star. Yeah. <gasps> drove out to LA to be. How, a do, you rock star. Wow, you how do you feel about that, Al? Wow, how do you feel about that? Wait, how do you feel about that? How long pretty... did you live in your car for? Jesus, fucking shit. <laughs> hey, this is hardcore right here. Yeah, Look, that's so crack as shit, man. I mean, Are you yeah, serious? I, just, I didn't really know anybody, so I had to just do what I had to do, you know. And yeah. hey, that's bring your goggles out see? next time. Yeah. Like, show? Yeah. Wear your goggles. And then, then yeah. he ended up. This is why I do this. We found him on Facebook, and he would drive like an hour from LA to come jam with us. That's awesome. The first time that he came to jam with us. The only two things he brought besides his gear was a knife and a bottle of Jaeger, so it could go oh either way. <laughs> so we had Jaeger. Yeah, we had a bunch of Jaeger. And then we went to IHOP. Like, yeah. okay. we, and then we, we were immediately friends. We yeah. rip on this guy all the time. He's our whipping. He him. takes it like a champ. <laughs> but at the, yeah, at the end of the day, we really do appreciate what he does yeah, and what he did. Cool. I don't, I don't, I don't. He, he honestly <laughs> brings a lot to the band. Yeah. So, yeah. There is our fearless reader, leader, Rayford. Rayford. Da, da, da. <laughs> and, uh, we found him actually after we, uh, after first drummer. Our drummer's played, last show. Yeah, her drummer's last show. <laughs> one of our other friends in another band said like, "Oh, we know this drummer. He's great." And we tried Ray out, and ever since then he's been in our band, yeah. and he's been pretty much changed our entire sound. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. a lot yeah. more. He Brought sees everything. He's a lot more That's the root. Level. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've never played blast beats before. Let's give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> Before so, this, I played in a punk band. Today. That's what's up. Well, that's like the germs, man. Yeah, we right? saw him at our show, and he had a Lamb of God patch and on. And a fedora. Hey! So we're like, we're gonna like this guy. <laughs> he, was yeah. <laughs> he was wearing a fedora. He was wearing a fucking fedora. And I'm like, this guy's in. Yeah. So this has, been, this has been our lineup. One, one fedora per group. Yeah. One well, actually, per group. what happened was I showed up to practice with them. 
And I just started ripping on them, and they're like, alright, No, he's like, like you guys suck. Yeah. You left, Joe. Oh, you guys are just terrible. I'm gonna come shit. in and yeah. change everything. Call me a useless cunt. Oh my god. Rule number two. He told me, nice sound, like, two. Told me <laughs> I was like, he's a useless cunt. Anyway. So this has been our lineup for about a year, and, a year and three months now. Nice. We're finally getting back to playing some shows. So yeah, we spent nice. and recording, week, which would be great. We've been spending like the last like six months or so just writing because whenever we'd play a show, we felt like we were like pressing to fill up the set. Yeah. So we were just like, let's just do like take three covers. Just write. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, now you guys have like your own material and everything, and. Yeah. You can get your EP going, stuff like yeah, that. So really send it my way yeah. so I can share it out to the people yeah, also. Yeah, we're gonna blast it everywhere. We're gonna try yeah. to Spotify, blast iTunes, it everywhere. Just hand yeah, just, we're gonna just, blast just, it just everywhere. Throw them out. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, is there losing anything? Money, losing money, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Is there anything you guys would like to say to your fans before you sign out? Thank you, Mom. Who are you? And please yeah. come out to the show. Yeah. If you guys are our fans, please. like, please let us know. <laughs> He'll strip for you. Yeah. Please. We will do anything. No, he, he, he we said will do he anything. Anything. <laughs> Oh. Alpaca. Alpaca. <laughs> I will do anything. <laughs> we will make Al do anything. Who else but Whoa. Al? Uh, How are you doing about that, Al? Who's no? a TV show? <laughs> Fucking who else but Al? You know what I mean? Hey, Al's wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Smelly. Al, and Abel. Is there anything that you want to say? <laughs> yeah! Yes. Alright! Well, that's Callie from Liberate Justice Entertainment yeah. signing out with. Woo! Oh, oh, Later, <laughs> guys! <laughs>
Thank you. Woo!